Beating the odds. Ryan Blair. Ryan Blair. Ryan Blair. Ryan Blair. Ryan Blair. Take Ryan Blair. He's founded six successful companies. 29-year-old multimillionaire Ryan Blair. You guys are the perfect panel for this. When I was a kid, I lost my parents to drugs and alcohol. I had no standard to live by. So I, I rejected authority. The turning point for me was when a very successful man came into my life. And he saw something in me that I didn't even see in myself. Today, my goal is to share the lessons that I've learned in life and in business and to help people define the power within them to make a difference. Beating the odds to achieve their dreams, deserving local high school kids get some practical tips on getting ahead. It is all part of Fox Studios' journey to excellence. Any of you guys ever uh, dream about becoming rich? Through a mentorship program called Journey to Excellence, 50 high-achieving students from low-performing schools and circumstances got a lesson in beating the odds. That's the room me and my mother shared. 29-year-old multimillionaire Ryan Blair says he had help escaping the poverty he grew up in. The one thing that I find in common of all successful people is a mentor of some sort. Whether you're 18, 80, or anything in between, if you have a good idea and make smart decisions, you can make millions and you can do it fast. The proof is all around us in the young and the rich. Tonight, we'll show you what they're doing and doing fast to make those millions so you can do it too. Take Ryan Blair. He's founded six successful companies and he's only 30 years old. He's going to show you how to stop overthinking and start making millions fast. I couldn't shoot a jump shot, I couldn't sing, I couldn't act, I couldn't dance. So about the only way that I was going to become rich was if I started my own company. I'm Ryan Blair and I'm a serial entrepreneur. I've started six multi-million dollar companies by the time I was 30 years old. 24-7 tech, multi-million dollar business, Sky Pipeline, $25 million business, PathConnect.com, soon to be a billion dollar business, Visala Sciences, $100 million company. I can't believe I am where I am. And I was sitting in my house at about 11.30 at night and I'm just so bored and dying to talk to someone because Nick won't take my call, Blake won't take my call. <laughs> so I'm looking at it and I'm saying, okay, I wonder who this is. And I pick it up and on the phone is this voice, Ryan? Yeah. Hey, it's Jessica Beale. 11 o'clock at night, I'm like, is this a dream? Like, what's going on? Now also joining us is Ryan Blair, a 27-year-old entrepreneur who says, look, he's overcome a lot of adversity in his life and he did not have to classify his poverty as a disease in order to do it. Ryan, you don't look homeless or impoverished, but you were, weren't you? Yeah, absolutely. And there were enough labels put on me growing up in poverty that I didn't need another one. There's I think that's another excuse. Another excuse. That's an excuse. Another no. excuse. I was labeled as having ADD. I take care of myself. I've started three companies, which have become multi-million dollar companies. And I was labeled as being depressed. I was labeled as all these different things. And you give him another excuse. Don't, don't enable him to say that he has ADD or anything else. All he has is a lack of motivation and a lack of making good decisions or making any decisions. And Ryan, you hit the nail on the head when you said it's about fear. 